Since 1819, the University of Virginia has stood in the hills of Charlottesville. Thomas Jefferson believed education was the key to creating future leaders who would serve the people. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Since 2016, this idea rings loud and clear from spring through fall when the Cavalier football team presents its Thursday's heroes. But we want to give you an official honorary, honorary captain jersey. When head coach Bronco Mendenhall was at BYU, he and his wife Holly were simply trying to find a way to teach their sons a valuable lesson, that the world is bigger than themselves that there are needs in the immediate community that they could meet. The concept is using the platform of a high profile sports team, the Cavaliers, to take families who are facing challenges and give them a moment of joy. To me, football is just a, a magical and powerful platform that motivated learners. And I get to te teach life lessons through the sport of football, the trophies and the wins and all that. Yeah, they're necessary for job security and the world makes a big deal of that. It's hollow without the substance. Relationships are everything. Other than that, it would just be a game. And that doesn't sound quite meaningful enough to me. No matter who you are, you should always leave a place better than the way you found it. And so if we can provide a platform for our student athletes to do that, then, we, then it's our responsibility to do that. And so hopefully we put enough emphasis on giving back, on community engagement, so that our student athletes will leave here knowing that they can make a difference in whatever community they choose to live in. Just Tucker! Hey. Hey. Can I get a hug? Yeah. Does it make a difference? Ask the Finkelstons. They have four boys. Tucker, a second year at UVA, is the long snapper for the Cavs. His youngest brother, Paxton, has Williams syndrome. It's a rare genetic disorder that causes developmental and learning disabilities. There is no cure. Mainly what I want to say to people who come into a situation where they find themselves with a child who has special needs is you're going to feel like you're hit by a truck for a while and then you're going to figure it out and then you're going to realize that you are the luckiest person in the world to see the world through the eyes of, of someone who has other things going on that make most people's problems very small. Tucker nominated Paxton to be a Thursday's hero and when his special day finally came, the reactions speak for themselves. I, mean, I know within our experience with Paxton that it's sometimes worrisome that he'll be an outcast in society and bringing him in and just knowing that he has friends and now he's got a whole second family of 124 other guys on the team and all the coaching staff and all their families just being welcomed into a whole other group and just having a bunch more friends for the kid is just something you can't get over. But this opportunity, UVA football, and then Thursday Hero, I mean, I, it was like bookended with pride, you know. Here's the player, and here's the gift, and, and Paxton being the gift that we get to share. I was just proud and grateful. Tucker and Paxton's father, Tim Finkelston, played football at UVA in the 80s. He's proud to see what his alma mater is accomplishing for his children and so many others. There's been a, a number of things when you as an alum looking in on, on the things that they do from a program perspective, football, also from an athletics-wide uh, perspective. Uh, Thursday Heroes is just one of those things that brings everything into focus and makes Virginia really what it is. The layers of success of this program are many. It isn't tied to any one resource for its participants. It involves the entire Charlottesville community. Since 2016, 63 families have been impacted. Through weekly video exposure, awareness of Thursday's hero has grown immensely. Even celebrities like Hugh Jackman. Hey brother, you're an absolute legend. And The Rock have chipped in with videos for the heroes. The staff involved in executing this program also make sure that heroes and their families remain a part of the program long after their special day. All of this contributes to changing lives. To be the one who can kind of push 
the direction this program goes and to see the effect it has on not just the families and the heroes, but also the young men who we are trying to develop into citizens, you know, that are going to go out into the world and continue to make a difference. And that has really been the most special part, and it's also completely changed me. It's difficult to quantify the difference that's being made, but there is no doubt that what's happening is a game changer. Thursday's Heroes is a game changer because it's helping our football players develop into young men so that they can go out, make a difference, be well-rounded, and understand really what's important in life. It's a game changer because it allows that person who has so many daily struggles that you can't go on and on about because it just turns into minutia, you know? It lessens that. Thursday's Heroes is a game changer because it connects our student athletes, our coaches, our staff, our university with this community and especially with those in our community that have a need. It's a game changer because it allows perspective on what really matters in a world that struggles to remember what really matters.